If you hate using your at-home scale, I have a couple alternatives you might be interested in hearing about. Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Megan. I am a board certified physician in internal medicine, lifestyle medicine, and obesity medicine. And this channel is the place for evidence-based answers to your weight questions. So today we're going to talk about scale alternatives. And some people love using their home scale. Some people hate it. Um, some people like to use, you know, a pair of, you know, more restrictive clothing to track their weight loss. I think either is fine as long as you have a consistent way of measuring your progress. But sometimes, um, especially if patients are more active, if they go to the gym a lot, if they're weightlifting, and I think also for men especially, um, sometimes the scale is just truly not as helpful, especially as people get closer and closer to their weight goals. It's just truly a one-dimensional uh, way of measuring their progress. And so I'm going to talk about two other ways that you can utilize when you are tracking your um, weight. So the first is called a DEXA, and we actually use a DEXA quite a lot for women in terms of osteoporosis screening. But you can actually do these um, commercially as well, and it really gives you a much better sense. Um, it's really the gold standard for body composition measurements. So you're gonna get a very accurate percent uh, body fat, you're gonna get a good percent lean muscle mass. It's just a better, you're gonna see where the fat is distributed in the body, if it's visceral fat, so it's around your organs, or if it's um, subcutaneous fat, the more superficial fat. Um, it's gonna tell you, it's gonna show you. And so this is a great tool for patients who, especially for patients who, you know, they're doing all the right things, maybe their clothing size is going down, but that number on the scale isn't working. Um, I always like to offer this as something that people do because then you can see, okay, well, the, maybe the number is this, but actually my body fat percentage is right where I want it to be. And my muscle mass is, you know, X number of pounds and I'm really happy with that. So maybe I'm not really so concerned about that number on the scale anymore. I think it's really helpful, especially for men, because they're gonna have more uh, muscle mass. And so it can be a, just a bit more helpful information for them in terms of are they getting closer to their goals. And I also like to use it, um, I like using a DEXA or um, the um, bioelectrical impedance, as I'll talk about in a minute. I like using that a little bit more in terms of goal setting for people because I think, you know, having a goal of I want to increase my muscle mass by two pounds or I want to decrease my body fat percentage by two percent, I think that's a lot more um, holistic in terms of health goals as opposed to I want to lose five pounds when we don't really know, you know, what that five pounds is made of. We definitely don't want you to lose five pounds of muscle. So um, I just think it's a much better way of setting goals and also, and also measuring progress. So the DEXA is great for all those reasons. Um, it's really the gold standard in obesity medicine in assessing how patients are doing. There is a small radiation exposure because it's an x-ray. It's about 5% of a regular chest x-ray. It's about the same radiation that you're going to get on an intercontinental flight. Contraindications, so you can't be pregnant and also you need a trained technician. This is not something you can do at home. Uh, it's a very big machine and uh, so you, you need somebody who's going to be operating it correctly. You also can't, you know, can't do it every week. So, you know, you have to really space out. Also, you want to be able to track your progress. So, you know, maybe once every six months, really depends on what your goals are, but it's definitely not something that you can be doing, nor would you want to be doing on a weekly basis. Next is a bioimpedance analysis, also known as BIA. You may have heard of these. Um, you may have seen them at your gym or your doctor's office. It's a scale, but it's also you hold on to these rails and what happens is it passes a low voltage or electrical current through the body and then it measures um, the resistance to that current through various tissues as a way to calculate the um, 
percent muscle mass, percent fat, things like that. So it's gonna give you very similar measurements to a DEXA. It's maybe not quite as accurate and it also is a bit more um, dependent on your fluid status. So you cannot do it, it's not gonna be as accurate if you just exercised before, if you're dehydrated, if you have a lot of fluid overload, if you have you know, leg edema, it's really not gonna be as accurate. Um, also, if you have a pacemaker, you can't do it. If you are pregnant, you can't do it. If you have a metal joint replacement, you may have to um, work with a technician to make sure that the points that you're accessing the machine are on the correct side. So you just have to be uh, aware of that and take that into account when you're doing this measurement. So it's not gonna be quite as accurate as a DEXA, but the nice thing is you can do it more often. Um, it's a bit more accessible. Um, some doctor's offices have these, a lot of gyms have these. So it's gonna give you similar um, percentages, similar measurements to what a DEXA would give you, but it's just a lot easier to get to and a lot easier to do. So these are two alternatives that I think are really worth checking out. Um, I really love it when patients have access to these. It gives me a lot more information about what's going on with their body. It gives them a lot more information. It gives you other goals to set. And I think it's just a bit healthier holistically overall um, when we're looking more at body composition and less at the number on a scale, BMI, those are helpful too, but of course it doesn't give you the whole picture. So um, I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. As always, my references will be listed down below and please be well.